Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Okay, we're getting to ready to use our Tyrannus radio with our Pixhawk quadcopter down here. And to do that, we've brought up the mission planner here on the notebook and plugged the quadcopter, the Pixhawk, into the USB. Other right. side. Oh, it's on the other <laughs> side over here. Thank you, John. We do not have the main flight battery hooked up. Everything, including the uh, FR Sky X8R receiver, is running off the USB. Pixhawk, receiver, GPS is all running. Even the minimum OSD is running off it. I wonder about that. That's a lot of power to be running off the little USB port. But anyway. Yeah. In fact, it overloaded this one. Yeah, it kind of overloaded this port. Hope we don't burn out the notebook. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is do the radio calibration. And I believe that's under initial setup. Okay, I'm under initial setup and I'm just going to run through the radio calibration here. So I got my radio going and I'm just going to go ahead and hit calibrate. Click calibrate and got to have your receiver on of course. And then click OK and start moving the sticks all around. So I'm moving the sticks here. I guess you can see that moving on the rudder. Here's the throttle. Just move everything around as far as it'll go. Here we go. And then you can flip whatever switches you got. Programmed in. That's my panic switch. Okay, and these are the mode switches here. Flight mode switches. So, I flicked everything I have that's actually programmed in the Tyrannus. So now I just click done. And we're calibrated. Let's try to find out what channel the flight modes are on. So we're under configuration and tuning. Uh, full parameter list and flight modes are set up for channel 5 and I don't think you can change them. It just looks like they're on channel 5. So we're going to be using channel 5. Uh, if there is a way to change that channel, I don't know what it is. But uh, we're going to go with channel 5 on the radio. Okay, John is going through making the uh, logical switch settings. A little hard to capture on the camera here. But uh, basically what he's doing is this right here. So there it's logical switches one through six and uh, the function is all ands and then you pick your primary mode switch which middle down and then up middle down again. Okay, and then you go to your secondary switch over in this column under the AND switch column and you go up, up, up and not up, not up, not up and then you finish off over here under delay with all 0.5's. So that's what he's doing over here. Okay, there it is. So now we're in the mixer, and John is putting in all the values for the mixer. And keep in mind, we're using channel 5. This diagram has channel 6 here, but we're really using channel 5. And so he's going ahead and entering all of these weights, offsets, switch, and it's all add on the multiplex. And this is all under L1, so, so he's just entering in those numbers right there. Once he gets one done, he exits back, and that's what it looks like. And then you edit, and he's just making some more lines. Got to have six of them. Mm -hmm. And now he's going into the next one. 
And he's going to be doing, I guess we're on this one now. Doing it minus 66 and minus 66. So now we got all six of them in there. Is this still working? Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like right there. All right, now we're going to go back and uh, test it out, I guess. Okay, John's going to flip the switches and we're going to test the flight modes. All right, there's two, there's three. And now go to the secondary switch. There's one, two, three on that. So we got all six. Now there's one more thing we can do, and that's we could set up a panic switch. Okay, to set up a panic switch, what you do is go under configuration and tuning right here, and extended tuning, and this is for Arducopter. And down at the bottom here, uh, underneath all these other things, there's channel 7 and channel 8. So you can actually run a switch to channel 7 if you want, and then put it on return to launch, and just use that as a panic switch. And then you can use the other six modes for whatever you want. You don't have to include return to launch in those six modes. So you've got more room to use other things. And then this will be your return to launch right here. Another thing you can do in here, when you're first setting up your quadcopter, you might want to make this auto-tune instead, instead of return to launch. And then you can set up your, you know, calibrate your PIDs or whatever with auto-tune. And then when you're done, you can put it back as a panic switch on uh, channel 7. So that's how that's done. So John is going to set a switch to channel 7 now. See here, this is the panic switch, right? This is the panic switch or auto tune, whichever so we're going to use it for. Let's make it over here. So he's just flipping the switch he wants to select, which was SE. I'll tell you what, we'll go ahead and set it to up. SE up is going to be the panic switch. And then, uh, Offset, should that be set to anything? I think we're fine. Uh, John decided to use SF instead of SE because SF is a two position switch for the panic switch. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and check it out. Go back to initial setup and radio calibration. Okay, see if it works. Yep. That's there. better. There it Full goes. Full range now. See. Okay, now let's go into flight modes and see how it affects that. All right, throw it. Wait, nothing. <laughs> well, actually, it's in auto tune right now, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's at the auto tune right now. Oh, so that's a problem. We need to go back and. Uh... Oh, look at that. It's hard when I do it left handed. All right. Go back here and we'll set this to return to launch. Get back there. All right. Now I've got to write the params. Don't forget to write your params. Let's just see if this uh, flight mode, okay, it's in flight mode. Try it now. Yep, there it goes. Now it's doing return to launch. Take it off. Yep. So when he takes it off, so that means now we can use this one down here for something else besides return to launch. We got two circles in there, by the way. <laughs> we got two circles, so if we wanted to make this like guided or something, uh, and we could make this Position hold. Position hold. All right, we can set that. All right, next we're going to set up the sounds uh, under special functions. So we'll be making these six special functions with six sounds uh, to play when we move the switches. So under special functions, we're just going ahead and putting in the uh, play track for L1 through 6 and putting the sounds we want in over here. So play track here at the top, and then the L number here, L1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, so here's the sounds that I ended up with. And here's my switches. Stabilize mode. Altitude hold mode. Position hold mode. And then if I flip the other switch, I get... Landing mode activated. Loiter mode. 
Stabilize mode. So that's basically how they Stabilize. work. Trying to arm it. And it arms. Alright. So the question is, will it do it outside? We've got it to do it on the bench before. We'll have to check it outside. And we're just going to see if we can arm it. Not even sure we have to wait for satellites, are you? No, I don't think we do to arm it. Shouldn't have to wait just to arm it. Of course, there's none right now, but... There it goes. Okay, it does arm. Hey, check your sticks to make sure everything is correct. No, sure. that we don't need to reverse anything while we're at it. Oh, the, uh, the elevator's reversed. Okay, so we need to reverse so the elevator. It went down and went forward. Okay. Left and right good. Left and right is good. Soft landing. Both what? left and right are good. Excellent. I believe that's the best landing you've made so far. <laughs> uh, I was actually trying to keep it from going too high, so I was actually trying to do. Yeah, and you did very good. So we need to reverse the stick. All right. I got it disarmed, by the way. Now we just get an occasional beep with a blinking light because the Pixhawk is disarmed. I'm going to reverse the elevator, right? Yep, reversing elevator. Let's do it in the mixer so we can keep it all in the same place. Well, that should be good to go. We'll see. All right. Nice recovery there. Okay. So at least they're all in the right direction now. It's a little, twi little twitchy though. Okay. On the controls. Should we do the uh, auto tune? So auto tune coming up in the next video. Super duper. Here, play.